Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to show you how to draw a realistic hamburger. Now, the key to making a realistic hamburger is to, uh, to like, focus and observe the detailing, the wrinkles in the buns, uh, the uh, water on the tomato, uh, the cheese, the melt of the cheese. We need to observe every detail on the cheeseburger to get it uh, realistic and capture that feel of a plump, juicy cheeseburger. So, today I'm going to introduce introduce to you my recommended set of shading pencils. These are called Fa Faber-Castell shading pencils. Now, you can get these uh, set pencils at AC Moore or you can order them from uh, Amazon.com. I got mine from uh, AC Moore. Now with each, with every set that you get, you get six pencils, a pencil sharpener, and an eraser. Okay. So. To start out with, we're going to use the 2H pencil, if I can find it, there we go. We're going to start out with the 2H pencil, now we're going, we're going to make the bottom bun. So, let's make a flat line right here. And you don't really need like a big uh, sketchbook for this, just a medium sized one. Now we don't want to make our bun perfect, okay? Because no bun is uh, you know clean and perfect. We want to capture some wrinkles here, so we go all right all the way around the bun. Okay. Now right here, this is, there's a, the white part, or you can't really see it, but it's like a little layer or something of the bun. You know the white part, the part that you put the patty on, Now right here, on the uh, top, you want to make like little sharp edges around here. As you can see, I'm making sharp little edges around the uh, brim of the bottom patty. There's little like little cuts and stuff like that. Make it a little darker so you guys can actually see the bun. And I'll probably have to cut these into uh, parts, into several parts, because this will be a long process. And guys, you need to know that no no bun is perfect. There's always like wrinkles and edges in the buns because it's bread. It tends to wrinkle a lot. So keep that in mind. Me finding my wrinkles a little bit. Now, right here, there's some additional like little wrinkles and bumps. You can make your own wrinkles and bumps, but if you don't know how to, then just follow me. And we're going to shade in those wrinkles and bumps. as you can see right there.
Now, we are also right here, right here in this line, on this uh, board line right here. I'm gonna curve it a little. Okay, now right here, there will be some wrinkles in the bread, like I said previously. There will be like creases. So, and right here, you want to make some. A uh, good bit of creases right here, or maybe some bumps right there. Some more creases, it can be like V-shaped creases, you know, like that right there. Some are close together, some are just... Uh, Far away, and the bottom bun. You want to make some, maybe just a little bit like holes. Okay. So. Do you want cheeseburgers? I mean, who doesn't? Probably vegetarians <laughs> would be my guess. Okay. And try not to make your uh, burger pitch perfect, okay? Uh, bread is uh, is never the same each uh, piece of bread will never be the same it has its own unique holes and like little wrinkles So far, so good. Now you want the wrinkles like all over the bun. Like so. Let's see. See how the wrinkles are just all over. It looks uh, realistic. I want to ca capture that feel right there. And maybe we'll go back. And uh, touch, t uh, touch up on some spots because I, I always do that in every uh, video. I go back and forth and touch up a little bit. Now, right here, we're going to make the patty. Now, for the patty, I'm going to switch to. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to 4B, or if you want to use maybe B, that, that'll be just uh, fine. because uh, the patty is dark and we want to capture that dark feel. Now for the patty, you want to make it rough. Some rough edges. All about the sandwich. And there'll be some bumps. Okay. I'm going to add some shading around right here. Like so. Now 
Might not look much right now, but don't worry, it'll be awesome. Now, you know, meat is fleshy and very uh, squiggly, kind of. And they have, like, very symmetrical shapes to it. And I, of course, I'm using uh, Google Images for this drawing. And they're really very squiggly, you know, you have to keep that in mind. And the meat can be also shiny. We'll probably add some shininess if we if we're able to. So, how was your day? Was it awesome, or was it dreadful? Sorry guys, I'm not trying to keep it keep the whole video silent and boring. And of course we're gonna add some cheese later on that will be low overlapping the uh, meat patty. Now right here, we're going to put the cheese there. It's right here. Let's make a little uh, indication for yourself because we're not going to put. We're going to finish the patty before we go on to the cheese. Now you want to do the same process over the burger. And this is a very high contrast photo. I really love, you know, how it's capturing all the uh, the meat and all the it, it's it, it, the tomato and you know the the detail in the meat. I mean, seriously, it's really good on this photo. And it, it's not it's not it's actually an actual photo of a real uh, burger. It's not painted. Because when I look up Google Images, I don't want to, when I do a video, I don't want to take someone's art, you know, and draw it. And so, I try to look for, like, realistic photos.
Darken in the left side a bit. I'll do meat patty. And for the people that say hamburgers or cheeseburgers are not awesome, then you suck. Sorry. You suck if you don't like hamburgers. I'm just kidding. But seriously, like, who doesn't? I mean, like I said again, uh, vegetarians, you know? With their to tofu and their apples. Ugh. Hey, I'm a kid, I don't like vegetables, you know. Like good old meat patties. Even though that they're not really health healthy and McDonald's hamburgers contain green slime. It's not really healthy. We'll probably have to go back to the bun, maybe darken it a little bit, but I, uh, but not too darken like we're, we're doing with the patty here. Okay. You want to get that grilled look to it, you know, like it just came fresh out of the grill. And guys, this is my first time doing it, so uh, if you want to leave any bad comments, again, keep it creative and not cuss. You know, I'm only 13, and I, I'm pretty, I think I'm, I'm doing pretty good on this. You know, I, I like to get to, like, realistic uh, stuff, you know. And I heard about this thing called the Realism Challenge. The Realism, uh, Realism Challenge, sorry, is uh, you take, like, like an item, like, say, a pen or a piece of candy, and you, and you try to, like, make a real version of it, you know. Kind of, kind of similar to what I'm doing right here. But it might not look exactly like it, because I'm not going to add any color to it. Because, uh... It was just going to be all pencils and all, and that's pretty much it. And shading. And I'm not really good at painting, so I'm sorry. And I'm not really good at painting. But you know, I heard there's this uh, thing in West Virginia called the Starving Artist that I will, will uh, get into. It's like a program for young artists. Painting, you know. Maybe a uh, fun experience for me. So,
Guys, if you uh, know, if you have it down pat, you can go ahead and skip this to the cheese and the tomatoes and all that. If you don't want to, you know, see uh, the rest of this, it's perfectly fine. You know, I understand because, I mean, only, only, okay, only, only if you, you know, got it down pat and uh, know what to do, you can go ahead and skip this part. But if you don't, I recommend, I highly recommend you just stay put and just uh, pay attention. That's that's pretty much what all I need to tell you. Again, you want to add some like squiggly lines to the burger to make it look a little fleshier, toned out. Peter went to sleep again. Sorry. I say okay a lot because I don't know what else to say. <laughs> sorry. I say sorry a lot too. So sorry for saying sorry a lot. Now right here, we're almost done with the patty. Let's add a few extra details to it. Now right here, uh, that's where the cheese is melting, so that's why I put it there. You don't have to, but it has a more re realistic feel, and that's what we're trying to do here. Just trying to make the burger realistic and you know, yeah, yeah very realistic. Okay, so we might go back to the patty again, you know, for one last time. Like what we're going to do with the bun. Okay, now on to the cheese. Now we're going to start over here. Start over here. Now again, you don't make the cheese pitch perfect. It's going to have some uh, unsymmetrical lines to it. Bumpy cheese over here. Now we want to add some little shiny, uh, shininess to our burger. Like right there. Add a little sha uh, shadowing, shading to the top part right here because there's a tomato right on top of the cheese.
Okay, guys. So, uh, we're going to tackle the tomato next. On second thought, I might not turn this into parts because we're almost done, but I don't know, we might have to, so. Now for the tomato, it just, uh, to add some curvy lines to it, because it's almost kind of perfect on the edge, but not really. It has some curvy lines to it, so it's not really that perfect. Some dark, burning in this uh, this part right here. Rest of the tomato. Now, right here, go ahead and make a little indication for the lettuce, which we will later on tackle. Just for now, just make a little indication line so you know where that is. Don't get the, the don't get the uh, tomato infused with the bun because it's not the bun. Now, right here, all around the tomato, there are a little uh, water, so there's little teardrops of water. So you want to just lightly, lightly uh, there's little drops of it everywhere and there's some big drops of water. So you want to go lightly, shade it in there, and they're really packed together guys, so keep that in mind as well. and are not all the same shape either. So keep that, keep that in mind as well. And today is uh, Fun Doolin' Sunday, and I, if I have time, uh, I'll probably uh, do one. Well, I probably should do one because uh, in my introduction video I told you guys that I was going to do one. And don't worry, that update series on my poster, on my Star Wars poster, is going to come soon. If I don't, I mean, the reason why I haven't done it in the past few uh, so, uh, Fridays because I was lazy. <laughs> and, you know, I feel tired after a whole week of school, so you can you know, see that problem. So I'm, I'm sorry if you haven't seen the videos, but they're coming up soon, I promise you. You know, uh, I have school, like I said. You know, so please work with me, guys. I'm not trying to be too lazy here, but, you know, uh, sometimes I am lazy. I actually have a lot of times. Don't think you're not lazy too, because we're all lazy beings. So, just to put that out there, just to let you know. Okay. Okay guys, we are about done with the uh, tomato here. Not really much else to it.
Now for the lettuce, we're going to go ahead and tackle the lettuce, uh, lettuce next, sorry. Flipping computer keeps, uh, sleeping on me. I'm going to go very, uh, light with this, you know, it's, they have wrinkles in the lettuce as, as well, kind of. You want to go just a little bit out of the tomato, a bit. My arms are getting tired. Okay. You know, we're uh, really baggy and here in this part, it's a little sharp right there, just a little sharp edge right there, it's uh, getting out the bun. in that uh, big part right there. Add some light shading. Tomato right there. I hope this uh, drawing tool makes you hungry, guys. <laughs> I know it sure did. Okay, so we are about done with the bun, uh, with the lettuce here. Oh, and there's also a little drops of water. Like this. You want to make your drops of water very, uh, drippy. <laughs> oh, 
don't think that's a word. <laughs> Drippy, but oh well. I'm making my own words because it's my own video. <laughs> okay, so. We are going to make the top bun. Now the top bun is going to make it a little bit light, but not too light. Make the shape of the bun. That's a little bit too big. Sorry guys, I erase a lot, but you probably should know that by now, because I tell you a thousand times. Okay. Not too happy with the bun. But we're going to fix that. Make it a little flat, not too flat. Okay, now for the wrinkles of the top bun, we'll make some big wrinkles right here. Real big wrinkle right, right over here. Shake that in. Like uh, you want to make them uh, make the pieces a little bit rough too. some wrinkles over here. I'm going to add some, I'm going to take my index finger, or you can take your thumb, I'm going to rub it right here on the top and go around over to the right side.
you want to make uh, this up top darker right here the shading take your pencil and just add some shading right there some a little bit light shading right here. Okay guys, well, uh, like I said earlier, we are going to go back to the patty here, and we'll add some shininess to it, like we did with the cheese. Probably can't see it, you know, let's not add to, uh, any uh, shininess to it, you know. So I, I hope this uh, helped you out, guys. So you can uh, request uh, something, guys, and I'll be uh, gladly uh, glad to take it. And don't worry, don't throw a channel uh, challenge on me because uh, I'll be uh, I'll be honored to take it to uh, accept it. I like the uh, challenge accepted meme. Challenge accepted. Add some more detailing right here. Almost done. We'll have to go to the bottom bun here. Just in a moment. Okay, now right here on the bottom bun, we're going to go ahead and darken it. Okay, so they're over. 
right here you want to take your thumb and uh, uh, shape that portion of it. Add a little bit more wrinkles. Well guys, you can go ahead and click off this video if you want to, because there's really not much else to be said. Just to darken this up, you know, like I said, I'm going to touch it up in some spots. A little bit more shooting. Well guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you uh, enjoyed this storm tutorial. Hope you had fun with it. I sure did. So, I am David Hooper, the amazing artist, signing off once again. See you guys.